Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Allie. Today I have a really exciting video. As you guys could see from the title, I'm going to be here for a really long time. So, oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm doing this. You guys may have seen Nikki Tutorials do this video. She used every single palette in her collection, and I think it was like 170 something palettes. I definitely don't have that many, but I have at least over 100. I do know. Close to 100 or over 100 is what I'm thinking. So what I was going to do and what I may do if I end up trashing this video is do a look using like all of my summer palettes or use a look using all of my winter palettes, um, you know, during those seasons. But I thought, why not just try? Let's see where I can get with every single palette in my collection. So the only rule of this really is you have to use at least one shade from every single palette in your collection of eyeshadows. So as you guys can tell, I'm completely barefaced. I am going to throw primer on. I'm just going to throw on some silicone free priming moisturizer from Good Molecules um, because I am going to really try to make this like an actual look. This isn't going to be just a throw it on my face done, but it is going to be really challenging if it is. 100 shades of eyeshadow. Now, Nikki did layer up shades, so if she was stumped on a palette and she, let's say, had red, like, right here, and she opened another palette and was stumped, but there was a red in that palette, she would take that red and pat it on top of the other red. I am going to go ahead and take some of my MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly and put this on um, my lids. A lot of this video, I'm warning you, will be sped up because I know I'm going to have quite the tr time trying to edit this down because I'm sure I'm going to be here for an hour or two um, doing this eyeshadow look. So some of them may be sped up, but I will definitely show the palettes that I'm using or make sure I try to. I apologize if for some reason um, the palette is not like shown. I don't think I have the patience to throw up the name of the palette. <laughs> I would literally be editing that video all day long and turnaround time with this. I'm kind of hoping I can get this up within the next few days. So yeah, don't mind my crazy leftover crimped hair or just the random t-shirt I'm wearing today. But we're going to go ahead and jump into this because this is going to be a long long video today. Um, so I'm just going to get a, I think I'm just going to use the smaller blending brush. I, I think I'll be able to work in shadows here and there with that. I'm actually going to just get out a few different brushes because depending on shades and stuff that I'm dipping into, it's going to be a wild one. And honestly, I'm probably going to do what Nikki did and not do like both eyes exactly the same. So I'm probably just going to have two completely different eyes today. That would probably be the easiest. While I have you guys zoomed out for now, I am going to go straight into a um, eyebrow or wing liner brush. We're going to do the eyebrows. And with that, I'm going to be using the shade Low Blow from my Urban Decay Naked Heat. This is going to be my eyebrow shade. I'm going to try it. I'll put a little bit of this in and then if I find like a pretty taupe shade as we go, I may do something else to my brows because this shade looks a little warm. So we will see. The shade is very warm. So um, we're going, I just kind of did like a little bit of an outline on my brows. So I'm going to wait until I can find like another taupe shade to throw in the mix there. And I have no idea where to put these, the ones that I've used. I also have like no idea how many for sure, like I said, so I'm going to try to count them as I go or count them at the very end and tally it up so I can tell you guys exactly how many, but you guys will also see in the thumbnail, so you guys already know. All right, next is the ColourPop Princess Designer Palette. I'm going to go into Chip, which is this pale, really good for just a transition. So this is going to be my transition on this eye. Um, I think I'm going to stick to like warm tones on one eye, cool tones on the other eye is kind of what I'm thinking, but we will see. Okay, now I have Winky Luxe Kitten Palette. I'm going to take this 
um, Per shade, which is like a light pink. And I think I'm gonna put this on my cool tone side. I think I'm gonna do like blue, like blue, purple, pinks on this side. I can't remember exactly what eye looks Nikki did, but I'm gonna use this as like a little like highlight moment on this side. And then I just filmed with this Essentials palette. You guys will be seeing this video soon. But for this palette, I'm going to be taking Sand, which is right there. And it's going to be my transition for my warm side. Now I'm going to be taking Please Marry Me from the Mrs. West palette from KKW Beauty. I'm going to be taking that shade um, to highlight my brow bone and inner corner on this side. God, I forgot how like, bam, that shade is. We'll have to like tone that down in a minute. Oh, color. We have the Riviera palette, which this was supposed to be in my summer box, but it was not and it's super messy. Um, well, we're just gonna go in with some color. I'm gonna take this beautiful purple and I'm going to be patting this down right here in the center of my lid. I think I'm gonna go blue, purple, pink. I'm actually wanting to film a video with this palette soon, like just uh, this palette by itself. Okay, BH Cosmetics Daisy Palette. It's just so tricky every single time. Like if you need a challenging video, this is the one. Um, On this side we can do like maybe yellow, green, orange. Yeah, let's take it there. Um, I'm gonna take the yellow flower in this palette and put this in the inner part of my eye. This actually has a mirror. I'm actually gonna keep this palette out just so that I can use the mirror. Next, I have volume one from Alomar. This one's definitely a warm palette. So would I say yellow, orange, green maybe? Or yellow, green, orange? Let's do yellow, green, orange so that the orange and the yellow are kind of separated. But I'm gonna dip into Coco Taxi. It's a pretty orange and put this like on the outer corner. Huda Beauty Mob Obsessions. Let's go in to a pink. I'm trying to use like kind of the same brushes, but I do have my color switch here. So I'm gonna just try to use that in between shades so that I'm not spreading the same shade around over and over. But let's go into this pink right here and put it to that purple Tarte Dream Big palette. So let's see, I forgot what's in this. I think, yeah, purple's pinks. It has this brown. So let's just pick up some of the brown and add into the outer corner crease on the warm side just to like maybe deepen that up a smidge and then we'll add some more orange on top. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not even gonna blend it. We'll wait for an orange shade and then we'll blend the orange shade out with that. We're already 20 minutes in and this is where I'm at. Like I'm, I'm freaking out a little bit on if I can get this done tonight. <laughs> uh, Chasing Rainbows from ColourPop. We have a really pretty blue called Bring It. And I'm gonna bring it with this shade on my outer corner on the pink, blue, and uh, purple side. Sailor Moon from ColourPop has a really pretty purple. It's a lighter purple, so let's try to put this purple. Let's. <laughs> I'm going to try to put this purple um, more so... This is the purple I'm talking about. It's kind of purple pink. I'm gonna try to put it like in between the pink and purple on this side. It's already starting to look a little crazy. <laughs> Anastasia Norvina. I'm gonna go into Love, which is a pink. That shade right there. And put a little bit of that on there as well. Right, um, Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics. This is the Br Little Briar Rose palette. And I'm gonna take some of the Prince Blue shade. I love that blue. I used it for the color Pantone color of the year. I'm going to add a little bit of Top Model. This is my Kylie Cosmetics. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place, but this is my Kylie Cosmetics X Balmain palette. I'm gonna use Top Model. Um, on the warm side. It's a little pinky, but I feel like it's still a little orange that I'm gonna try to blend out that brown because it's driving me insane. It's starting to look better. We'll give it some wiggle room, some time to blend some more on it. Um, I have another palette from Kylie Cosmetics, the Stormy, 
and it has a really pretty i think i'm gonna take the dark purple and add some more back to the look love without limits is the shade and i'm going to put this back where the dark purple was at going into the blue you definitely do i now i see why um she had to like keep putting the same color like on the same color because once you the more colors you add the other ones start fading away and normally in makeup looks i do have to like add more to it but i'm definitely having to do that with this look because she just like can kind of keep fading away um the jeffree star mini jawbreaker has a beautiful orange so i'm going to be using that to put over here Ooh, man, that's bright. Um, I have one of the uh, vault palettes, Morphe x Jaclyn Hill. You guys are going to see all of them today, but this is the Bling Boss, the purple. So, <laughs> you guys know what that means. <laughs> um, but really, though, I don't know. I don't know what shade I should go into. I think I'm just going to take this shade Gem right there, and I'm going to take this one on my finger because it's a metallic. We're going to go ahead and just put that on the dark purple. I'm also going to grab a towel because um, I know that I'm going to be probably doing that a lot. Okay, Jeffree Star Beauty Killer. We have, let's add star power, some pink back to this look. I'm actually going to take this lighter blender brush that I've been using on this side. I have to keep reminding myself, I do also have um, the lower lash line that I'll be able to work with. I'm gonna take this blue on my finger. This is the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Sipping Pretty palette. Um, the blue, I think, is Party Animal. And I'm going to pat that metallic over here. I cleaned it up a little bit, but we're just gonna go with it because it'll be cleaned up later. Um, I have this Morphe, oh, forgot the slips come out. This is the 35M Boss Mood palette. It has like all the greens um, and purples and everything else, but I'm gonna be actually using the greens because I don't have any green right here yet. So I'm going to be taking Stroke of Luck, which is this like really, really bright green up here. And I'm going to put this right there, kind of fill in that gap. Um, Norvina Volume One. Let's do this yellow. I know I really want to go into purple with this one, but I'm going to do the yellow and I'm going to add some of this back into the inner corner on this side. Um, and it is the Bloodlust from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And let's do, what are we needing? I'm going to take the shade Vivid Mood, which is like a lilac purple right there and put the shade right above, kind of like in the crease, the other shades we have going on in this look. All right, this box is not near as full as the last one, so I should be able to get through it pretty fast. The first one is the Zoella X ColourPop Brunch Date, and automatically want to go into that blue. I keep wondering, like, is it time to go ahead and put foundation on? But I don't think I'm going to know when that time is. So I might actually just start putting shades on my lower lash line as well. And then I can just take my makeup eraser and wipe underneath before I go into uh, face products off, off counter, off camera. So I'm going to take the blue brunch club and put that right on this outer corner. In between each one, I'm literally going into my switch. Okay, treasure chest from Mellow Cosmetics. Let's do this metallic yellow um, in the inner corner over here. Um, Dark Magic, the next Jaclyn Hill Vault Palette. Um, I'm gonna be taking, I'm gonna keep this brush out. I'm going to be taking Potion, that green, and deepening up my green part a little bit more. Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Volume 2 palette. Let's take this brown right here. Yeah, this lighter one. And I'm going to put this kind of like I did with the dark blue over here on this outer corner and then kind of take it under for the lower lash line. Pretty Vulgar Nighting Nightingale palette. Let's go into 
Let's go into Flip Out, another dark brown, and I'm going to stick this shade right there once again to deepen that outer corner even more. Sorry if my lighting keeps going back and forth. I have to keep moving palettes down there in between. I do need to be on the lookout for a good brown taupe to finish out my brows too. Okay, now I'm going to be taking the shade, I don't even know what the shade is. Coconut from this Tarte Buried Treasure palette. It's a really light pink metallic right here in the inner corner. Make that pop some more. Uh, Mini Controversy, Shane Dawson, and Jeffree Star. Um, let's go into, let's add some lighter blue. I'm gonna be taking Canceled, ironic. Um, that shade right there in the middle of the purple and the blue here. Maybe blend a little bit of that even up higher in the crease. We took a little bit of the metallic away, but we can add that back. <laughs> Uh, the Zodiac Colourpop Kathleen Lights. Really liking the Aries shade in this one. So let's put that shade on the orange. It's metallic, but I'm going to try to pick it up with just a brush. I don't think I showed the shade. It's a really pretty metallic orange. I'm actually just going to take my finger. It's so much easier than a brush with metallics. Yeah, you get more payoff. Ace Beauté, this palette here I got in a boxy charm. Um, I didn't really plan on any reds, but I guess I could put a little bit of red on the lower lash line maybe um, over here. So let's just run some of the red poppy over here by the brown. And now I have the Doza Colors Mickey Mouse palette, and I'm going to try to use this for my brows because I really do want to fill my brows in. Um, the shade, oh boy, it kind of looks like a little bit of a taupe. So let's add this to the brows and see like if it will work better. Whoa, I just stamped that on. This brush is kind of big too, so that doesn't really help. It's going to spoolie through those to lighten them up a little bit. Not a huge fan, but guess it could be worse. All right, Greek Goddess from Lunar Beauty. What can we do with you? I'm gonna take this like brown, orangish, reddish shade and I'm going to put this over the red that I put over here on the lower lash line just to maybe pull it a little bit more orange. Um, Urban Decay Naked Smoky. I don't know what to do with this. We will take Combust, which is kind of like a light uh, off-white. I'm gonna put it along the lower lash line and the inner corner on this side as like another little highlight moment. We've been at this for 45 minutes. Now we got Blue Blood and Bloodlust coming up next. Um, so with Blue Blood, I can go ahead and take, I'm gonna take the actual Blue Blood shade and run this on my lower lash line after this darker blue. And for Bloodlust, I think I'm going to take the pink in this one. I don't think I want to add much more red. Thankfully, I don't have like a lot of red shadows when it comes to a look like this. But yeah, I think I'm going to take that bright pink in this palette. Okay, going into another, another Jeffree Star, we have the Alien. And I'm going to take Abduction, this green. And I'm going to pat on the lid where the green's at. Natasha Denona, I'm gonna take the deeper brown in this camel palette. Let's deepen up where I kind of put that red at on that lower lash line. I'm also going to start like kind of winging this out. Um, I also have the matte, natural matte from Too Faced. I just talked about this in my eyeshadow pa palette tag that I'm not like a huge fan, but there is like a warm tone brown. So let's take that hook up and try to help this down here too. Oh yeah, that makes it a lot more like orangish brown. Kind of looks better with the look instead of bright on red. Glam Metals from Crown. This palette here. I'm gonna take a little bit of Rebel, which is the metallic orange, and put this on the inner part of the lower lash line. All right guys, I'm tired of talking. I'm also editing a podcast while I'm doing this multitasking queen. So um, for a little while, I'm going to mute you guys and put some music on and 
speed it up a little bit, I will still show you guys what palette and then I'll point to the shade each time. So let's do that for a little bit and then maybe I'll come back and talk some more, but I've been going at this for almost an hour, so I hope you don't mind. Alright guys, I'm back. I'll talk for a little bit because I just did foundation, concealer, powder, and all of that. Um, I got it a little over some, which just means we have some blending room to go. Um, but we're diving right back in. The first one, excuse me, the first one is Rainforest of the Sea Volume, I think this is just Volume 1 of the Tarte Palettes. And first one back into it. I took a minor break, so I'm ready to power through this. I'm just going to take the only matte brown in this palette, Cove, and to kind of help blend out what I messed up with concealer. All right. Um, another Ace Beauté. This is the Scarlet Dusk palette, and I'm going to be taking, let's take the bright pink, and I'm going to pat it right there. I feel like I keep putting pinks here because I'm trying to get like the pink that I want. But I'm also going to take this pink up here into the crease as well. Uh, what is that called? Dust from my Naked 3. I don't really use this palette anymore because it's super old, but since I have clung on to it, I guess that means I have to use it because I held on to it. Um, next we have the Frankation, and I'm going to take Just a Kiss, which you guys know if you have been on my channel for a while, I love this shade. And I'm going to put the shade right here. I might just pat it across those. Um, Shannon XO, the Remix palette. Let's go into the Remix side because I also have the original and we'll get to that one in a minute. Um, let's use... I'm going to another pink. Let's go into Baby Girl. Um, we'll put this shade right down here. Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal. Let's take Damage... No, let's take Karaoke. And I'm going to take this shade to help blend out the blue on the outer part over here because I kind of messed it up with concealer. Guys, I don't know how Nikki got through with that many palettes. I honestly don't. Like, this is hard. I mean, I feel like I'm still just packing it on, but I feel like I don't have big enough eyes. Okay, I have the Sweet Talk from ColourPop. Let's go into... Um... Let's go into Meadow, which is kind of like a corally orange, that one right there. And I'm going to go back to this eye. This eye has not had that much love compared to the other one. And I'm going to blend this shade up here, kind of connecting and blending up, like this whole slash look I have going on on this eye. Um, the Morphe Jeffree Star palette. Let's put another green on because I'm going to take Nate, which is right here but I feel like we've lost some of that green. Um, Boss Babe from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, I'm just gonna take, let's do five or nine to five, this like warm terracotta shade. Add some more of that 
kind of shade over here. Dosa Colors, I love Sirae. Um, oh, really want to use that blue. Um, no, let's go in with the peachy shade. I think it's actually, well, no, I think the lip is called peachy. This one is called loungy, but it's just like a really light peach. I'm going to take it on the blender brush just so that I can blend that shade down below all this brown madness over here. Um, the next vault palette, Ring the Alarm. Let's take Alert, which is an orangey brown, and put the shade over here. Dream Street, ColourPop, Kathleen Lights. Um, again, I'm gonna take another like brighter orangey shade and blend over here. Soul, ColourPop, and the Mar palette is next. Again, let's take another orange. We're gonna take this shade right in here. Mar, let's go in with another metallic blue. I'm gonna take the middle shade, which is Gridlock. It's just like a pretty blue metallic and we will pat that down. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up again um, until I'm done with this box. All right guys, last box, and I am looking like a hot mess, but bear with me. I am going in back to the make-believe one that I mentioned earlier, if I didn't edit that out. Um, I'm gonna add some of this highlight. Apparently I'm gonna be glowing to the gods today. It has now officially been an hour and 30 minutes of filming. I'm hoping within like the next 20 minutes or so we'll be done, but last box, we got this. Uh, conspiracy. Um, from Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson. Let's do... I'm gonna go into Pigment, the one with the pig on it. Pink pig one, and I'm gonna use this for blush as well. With these, they're so pigmented as you guys can see that I'm trying to tap on the back of my hand some of the pigment off and then I add it. I'm gonna start looking for a good bronzer contour shade though. And a good highlight for this side. Oh, I think there's one in this. This is the Volume 1 Jaclyn Hill. Let's use um, in light and a little bit of beam. We'll cheat, we'll do two. It's not really cheating, I'm actually doubling up. We're going to use those two shades to highlight this side. All right, Carly Bible, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, I'm gonna take Boy, or Bali, Bali, I don't know. Um, but it's like a pretty pink shade. We're gonna do, let's do some highlighting up here. That's not cheating, it's still on the face. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. I'm gonna add some more yellow. Let's go back into the eyes for a second. I'm gonna add Sphere right here. Uh, Sultry Anastasia Beverly Hills. 
Um, let's do, I'm gonna take Pearl with my highlighting brush and we're gonna take Pearl all up here. Uh, Midnight Masquerade, ColourPop, Disney. Uh, let's do, I'm gonna take Pip, this light shade. And I'm going to use this light shade to help blend out this mess right here. Chill Baby, Kylie Cosmetics. I have no idea, guys. I'm running out of options. Um, let's add a little bit of the Just Chill to uh, my cheeks. A purple shade. All right. Next is the Blanc Fusion from Zoeva Beauty. Ooh, we're going to contour. We might have found one that will work. All right, very last shadow, Violet Gloss Pro. Uh, this is the HG palette. Let it's just go into brownie points, this brown, and I'm just going to fix this little line right there. Alright guys, here is the finished look. Two hours later, 108 palettes later, this is the look. I did throw on a nude lip, finished up mascara, setting spray, all of that, even though this is about to come off my face. Um, two hours and I'm done. <laughs> um, but everything will be... Okay, let me rephrase that. Everything um, that was not an eyeshadow palette will be down below. So foundation, concealer, powder... Um, lips setting spray mascara will be down below in the description box but everything else was eyeshadow that you guys seen um or was kind of sped up so you guys still seen it but it was like maybe a little brief i'm gonna double count when i edit this video but i just sorted them into their boxes and there is 108 that i counted which is insane and i have a problem <laughs> um and i still have six or seven other palettes on the table of palettes that I haven't used yet. Yeah, I have a problem, I know. But yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I've never worn so much blush in my life, but you get to a point with this that you, there's just no turning back and you have to use it somewhere. So very rosy, very highlighted, and um, I'm surprised I could actually get some browns to work with some type of contouring bronzing but it still isn't perfect besides that um looking in my viewfinder i kind of just look like a sad doll 
that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I just feel like it's so cakey. There's so much going on and like all the shadow kind of just went like this so I kind of look like a droopy sad doll in a way <laughs> but yeah let me know if you guys are going to take on this challenge and I will come and watch your video um let me know what you guys think also since you guys pretty much seen every single palette in my collection I mean literally you did that I've used um Comment down below which palette you would love to see me do, either just a get ready with me, a palette bingo, something of that sort, so I know what to play with next. I am trying to keep it in my summer box, but um, if you guys request something, I would be up for it. Let me know. But yeah, I am so tired of talking and filming <laughs> that I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I still hope you guys enjoyed. It was a challenge. It was kind of fun. At least, I guess, at the end of this year, I can say I used, I did use all of my eyeshadow palettes, even if some of them were just for this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.